Uh, I'm David. I'm um, part of pan-European DiEM25 movement. I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm a, a climate change uh, activist and student and political activist with DiEM. My name is Ole. I am also part of uh, DiEM in Copenhagen. DiEM25 stands for Democracy in Europe Movement 2025. So we have fairly undemocratic institutions in the European Union. Uh, and the ones that are somehow democratic don't really have anything to say. I, I never voted for the Greek bailout deal, this part being an EU um, citizen, essentially. You didn't. You didn't. We didn't vote for that. We didn't have any voice in that. Who did have a voice? Technocratic institutions. The IMF, the European Central Bank, the European Commission. After the Greek election which brought Syriza to power, Mr. Schäuble told Mr. Varoufakis that democratic elections can't change the economic course of a country. This is the manifestation of a democratic deficit in Europe. Of course there's an alternative, of course we can vote on an alternative. This is what we are here for. It has also to do with the fact that we don't have European parties. We still vote for you know, national parties in European elections. So this is where the idea started to found the Democracy Europe movement. So obviously this is anti-racism, this is anti-austerity, this is progressive, this is feminist, this is feminist. And this is really what the manifesto is here for, because we are a very autonomous organization. So we have local groups all over Europe, and it's important that we sign on to the same values to start with, because then we can work in different directions without working against each other. Individual figures don't play that much of a role in DiEM. We are first and foremost democratic. We all decide. It's not like Babufakis has a bigger voice than we have. Of course he's more visible, but we collectively make the decisions. So what is the New Deal? The New Deal is our first attempt to really go in and formulate policy proposals. How can we get out of this mess? How can we get, you know, control over the economic sphere, how can, can we re-control financial institutions, how can we make the economy work for the people. We arrived at concrete policy proposals that, from my point of view, are really great. You should have a look at it. The New Deal, you can see it on the web page. Um, and it really shows or was a proof also to ourselves that this online discussion thing in combination with local groups, it really works and you can really produce something meaningful that possibly can change something.